Well, I'm sitting here with my Mr. Patient, and we are just at our 4th of July breakfast. The tapping is the dog. We're on our front porch. There's our front field. Well, we don't do anything but mow it, do we, dear? So, uh, I want you to tell us what you got yesterday and what you're going to do with it, please, because I personally don't know anything about the tools, so I want to hear. Well, I wanted to, uh, to have some kind of handwork to do, <clears throat> and I've been blacksmithing, but I wanted something else that I could do, because blacksmithing, you have to pull a lot of things out when you don't have a forge set up to do that and it's time consuming just to get started and to do it and I wanted something that I could just sit down and start working on so I thought I would start trying to learn how to carve wooden spoons to start with and we'll see where that takes me so yesterday I went went to a store in um, about 50 miles away called Woodcraft and I picked up some uh, carving knives. Uh, these are File, P F E I L brand. They're Swiss made. And this is a number 12 carving knife. Um, it's not technically what I wanted. I wanted more of a rounded handle like this, but this was the only thing that they had that really worked for me. So that's just a basic carving knife. And the second thing that I got in order to do uh, wood spoons is you have to have what is called a hook knife or a spoon knife. And that carves out the bowl of the, of the spoon. It's got a sharp edge here. And that one, that one fits my hand pretty well. So that's the two tools that I purchased to start with. I have other tools that I can use that I'll need to do this, but these were two tools that I didn't have. Uh, so I got those yesterday and this weekend when we're on our camping trip I was going to get me some uh, wood blanks that I have in my shop and try to start carving out my first wooden spoon. So what kind of wood? The wood that I'm going to start with that I have is uh, poplar and it's actually popular poplar wood siding that we used in our house and I've got some that's left over and if it's thick enough I think it'll work well because the grain of the wood is a, is a nice straight grain wood in order to be able to do spoons with. So how, where have you researched to find out what you're going to do? Well, I've basically researched through the web um, watch some YouTube videos. In fact, I watched a YouTube video this morning um, by a guy that was just talking about the basic tools that you need to get started doing uh, wood carving with spoons. So basically just the web and, uh, and YouTube videos. So I'm going to look forward to seeing what you carve. What, what you going to do with your first spoon? I may end up having to throw it in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see. Okay, well, pra practice but, makes spoons, right? Right. Practice makes spoons in this case, yes. Okay, good. All right, <laughs> blessings.